from UFOs to possible alien abductions, we're fascinated by the idea of extraterrestrial life. Hidden behind the glowing curtain of the Milky Way, a darkness long thought impenetrable has finally been pierced. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled vision, has unveiled something astonishing. An ancient structure cloaked in dust and time, unseen by any human eye until now. What lies beyond isn't just a new discovery, it's a forgotten chapter of the universe, waiting to be read. And what it reveals may rewrite everything we thought we knew. A mysterious glimmer in the dark, it began quietly, just a faint signature in a sea of infrared data from the James Webb Space Telescope, pointed beyond the thickest part of the Milky Way's disk. The object itself wasn't obvious at first. What caught researchers' attention was the structured, filament-like shape a slender thread shifting subtly over several hours. It didn't look like any known star, nebula, or galaxy. Instead, it seemed almost like a silent watcher, something stretching and shimmering at the very edge of what our instruments could detect. Teams poured over the spectral reeds, trying to make sense of the signal. Unlike typical starlight, which blazes with hydrogen and helium, this object glowed with the warmth of dust or plasma laced with unusual metal ion emission lines. Iron and magnesium, yes, but at temperatures that defied easy explanation. It wasn't cold enough to be dead interstellar dust, and it wasn't hot enough to be a newborn star. Something different was happening here, and no textbook seemed to fit. Before excitement could take hold, scientists did their due diligence. They ruled out all the obvious sources of error, telescope jitters, cosmic ray strikes, or digital artifacts. Webb's sensors were double-checked and calibrated with control fields, and the object's location was observed on different nights and with different settings. Still, the filament remained steady, strange, and undeniably real. Sometimes nature throws you a curveball, said Dr. Tan V. Rao, a spectroscopist on the team. This is one of those times. What Webb saw was both simple and profound, a structured filament, neither star nor cloud, defying easy classification and appearing right in the region where our galaxy's light grows faintest. That single persistent glimmer was enough to set off a worldwide scientific scramble, a new mystery waiting to be solved. Mapping our blind spots, for generations, the Milky Way's densest regions have been an astronomer's nightmare. Dust clouds thick as curtains block most visible light, leaving entire stretches, especially near the galactic plane, essentially invisible to optical telescopes. This zone of avoidance has long been a blind spot in our cosmic map, hiding both stars and anything stranger that might lurk beyond. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. Webb was designed with exactly this problem in mind. By operating in the infrared, it sees through the murk, capturing the heat signatures that dust and gas clouds can't fully obscure. NASA's recent survey of the extreme outer galaxy used Webb's deep sensitivity to map regions once lost to darkness, revealing not only new stars, but sometimes the unexpected, like the filament now grabbing global headlines. The secret lies in Webb's techniques. Infrared filtering lets it target specific wavelengths. Spectral scanning breaks down the light into its molecular fingerprints, and multi-angle stacking allows faint objects to stand out over time as random noise falls away. The combination is powerful. It's like giving night vision goggles to an entire generation of astronomers, said Dr. Rao. Suddenly the universe isn't hiding so much anymore. This discovery is proof of concept. With every new field Webb observes, especially in the galactic blind spots, we open a window not just on the far universe, but on our own backyard. Whatever this filament is, it's a reminder that the hidden regions of the Milky Way may hold surprises no one has yet imagined. Spectra tell the story. The team's first real insight came from Webb's spectrographs. When they broke down the object's light, the readings told a story more complex than any single image could. The emission lines showed not just the usual suspects, but strong signatures of metal ions, iron and magnesium among them, blended with warm dust indicators. These lines, bright and distinct, didn't look like the smooth curve of a stump or the diffuse haze of a nebula. Comparisons began right away. In the past, Webb and other observatories have detected massive filaments of gas, the cosmic web that connects galaxies on scales of millions of light years. 
But those cosmic web strands are vast, faint, and found between galaxies, not right on the Milky Way's doorstep. This filament, by contrast, was local, slender, and far warmer than the background interstellar medium. The energy profile was the real puzzle. Temperatures seemed too low for the object to be powered by stars, but too high to match the frigid conditions of normal cosmic dust. This in-between state raised a bigger question. Was this simply a natural gas structure sculpted by magnetic fields, or was there something more deliberate at work? Dr. Rao noted, when you see an energy level that doesn't fit the usual script, you start to wonder if you're looking at a new type of phenomenon. What's certain is that the spectrum gives us a fingerprint, one that can be checked, modeled, and compared to anything known or hypothesized in modern astrophysics. The chemistry points to a mystery, and the more precisely we look, the more that mystery seems to deepen, inviting a new era of questions about what really lies hidden in the dark. Stellar ghosts or new physics? Could this slender filament be the dying breath of a star or a remnant jet from an ancient explosion? At first glance, that theory seems tempting. After all, dying stars and neutron star jets can produce strange shapes and sometimes even emit in the infrared. But as the data piled up, the evidence simply didn't fit. The filament wasn't fading or flaring, and its spectral lines weren't those of a typical stellar remnant. The steadiness, shape, and temperature told a different story. Astronomers compared the signal to the known menagerie of cosmic filaments. Intergalactic strands, those ghostly bridges of plasma and gas connecting galaxies, have been cataloged before, but always at vast distances and on a much larger scale. This filament sat not between galaxies, but within and just behind the Milky Way's disk. It was out of place in both size and location. Most striking was his behavior. Stellar remnants are often transient, changing rapidly over hours or days. Yet this structure held steady, shifting only subtly as if guided by some internal rule. The shape was too defined, the movement too orderly, to be a mere wisp of chance. It's not just hanging there randomly, Dr. Rao noted. It's acting almost like it knows what it's doing. The conclusion was clear. If this was a ghost, it was one the universe hadn't shown us before. If it was new physics, a previously unseen form of matter or energy, it would mark the beginning of a whole new chapter in galactic exploration. Parallels in Cosmic Web Discoveries Just a few years ago, the cosmic web was mostly theory, a latticework of galaxies and dark matter, stretching millions of light years across. Then, JWST and other telescopes began to reveal these filaments in stunning detail, like the discovery of a three million light year bridge linking distant galaxy clusters. These were cosmic highways, vast and cold, channeling matter and energy on unimaginable scales. Scientists drew immediate parallels. Were we seeing something similar, but up close? A microfilament, perhaps, threading the space behind our own galaxy? but the distinctions were striking. The cosmic web's filaments are massive, visible as galaxy bridges, their scale dwarfing any structure within the Milky Way. The new filament, by contrast, was small, local, and impossibly slender. Webb's other filament discoveries had always been about context, showing how galaxies interact, how gas flows across the universe. But this object seemed to have no obvious context, no neighboring galaxies to bridge, no clear origin or destination. It's like finding a thread in your house that doesn't match any of the carpets, said Dr. Rao. You wonder where it came from and what it might connect to. If cosmic filaments are natural and expected, this discovery is a curveball. It doesn't fit the pattern, and that's precisely what makes it so intriguing. Maybe the universe has more ways of knitting itself together than we realize, or maybe we're seeing something never seen before behind the Milky Way. The area beyond the Milky Way's disk is a wilderness few telescopes have ever mapped. Stars are thin, dust is thick, and the light of our own galaxy acts as a constant veil. But this is also where cosmic history happens. Satellite galaxies drift by, tidal streams arc from ancient collisions, and mysterious clumps of dark matter are predicted to roam. JWST's campaign to probe the extreme outer galaxy aimed to shine a light into this unknown. 
By filtering out foreground stars and stacking images over weeks, Webb revealed that even these desolate regions are anything but empty. The filament's appearance here hints at hidden dynamics, possibly the remains of a bridge to a dwarf galaxy or a structure shaped by the gravitational pull of something unseen. Some scientists suggest the filament could be a fragment of a larger network, like a strand caught between the Milky Way and one of its satellite companions. Others wonder if it marks the edge of a dark matter clump, gathering visible matter around an invisible anchor. We're just now learning how much we've missed behind the galactic veil, said Dr. Rao. Whatever its nature, the filament proves that the space behind the Milky Way is a frontier still full of secrets. It's a reminder that even in our cosmic backyard, there's still so much to explore and so much we don't yet understand. Exotic physics in play? Could the filament be shaped by the universe's hidden architecture? Plasma currents riding on magnetic fields or even a cosmic string left over from the Big Bang? These ideas, once the realm of theory, are now being reconsidered. Plasma, after all, can be organized by magnetic lines, forming strands that persist for years. Webb's spectral data shows clear signatures of ionized metal, hinting at such a process. The cosmic web itself is built on dark matter scaffolding, invisible except for the Gaussian galaxies that reveal its shape. If a dark matter filament passed through our galaxy, it could in theory pull visible matter into strange filamentary forms. But that's still speculation. We're seeing something that shouldn't last this long or look this precise, unless there's an invisible hand guiding it, explained Dr. Marquez, a theoretical physicist. Well, even more tantalizing, if this is a real-time plasma filament, we could be watching the Milky Way's magnetic skeleton in action. Studying this up close would offer unprecedented insight into how galaxies are built, and perhaps even how dark matter interacts with normal matter on small scales. For now, these ideas are hypotheses, not conclusions. But the filament gives astronomers a rare real-world lab, an invitation to test theories about cosmic structure, magnetic fields, and the basic forces that shape everything we see. Could intelligence be involved? The thought seems almost too bold, but it's impossible to ignore. Could the filament be a sign of technology, not just nature? At first, astronomers considered more familiar tech, perhaps a Cold War relic, like an old spy satellite, or some kind of ultra-thin space tether. But the spectral metals didn't match standard alloys, and the structure was far too regular and persistent to be explained by space debris. Advanced alien probes are a favorite subject of speculation. SETI frameworks for techno-signatures suggest scientists look for shapes, periodic modulation, and steady consistency, traits this filament possesses in spades. Yet so far, there's been no communication signal, no coded message, just the mysterious presence, silent and unchanged. Astrobiologists, always on the lookout for patterns, note the filament's steady shift in metallic spectrum as eyebrow raising. We don't have proof of intent, said Dr. Marquez, but nature doesn't usually build things with such regularity. If it's artificial, it could represent a new kind of cosmic engineering. Skepticism remains high, but the door is open. No one is calling this evidence of alien life or technology. Still, the patterns, persistence, and location of the filament are enough to keep the possibility alive, a compelling mystery that has even seasoned scientists looking twice. What scientists are doing now, as word of the discovery spreads, the race is on to gather more data. JWST's team has already booked more observation time, aiming to scan the filament and other infrared bands and track changes over weeks and months. Every new data set offers a chance to catch the filament in a different light or see it change in ways that reveal its true nature. On the ground, astronomers are preparing follow-up observations using ALMA for sub-millimeter signatures and the VLA for radio emissions. These different wavelength, wavelengths could pick up complementary information, showing, for example, if the filament interacts with cosmic rays or produces faint magnetic fields. The more ways we look, the less we miss, explained Dr. Rao. Perhaps most important is the spirit of collaboration. Scientists are sharing data widely, calling on experts in plasma physics, magnetohydrodynamics, and SETI. 
Extraordinary claims need open data, said Dr. Marquez. The broader the investigation, the better the chance of an answer everyone can trust. With each observation and each new perspective, the mystery grows a little sharper, and the boundaries of what's possible shift once again. Why this changes everything? The discovery of the filament is a milestone. For the first time, we're glimpsing structures hidden within and behind our own galaxy, features once invisible, now revealed by Webb's sharp eyes. Whether plasma magnetic filaments or something else entirely, these strands show that the Milky Way is woven with more complexity than we ever imagined. If the filament proves natural, it will help scientists trace the galaxy's magnetic fields and plasma flows, providing a real-world laboratory to test theories that once lived only on chalkboards. This would transform our understanding of galactic physics, showing how invisible forces shape the visible sky. But if the evidence ever points to the artificial, the implications are even greater. That would mark a turning point in the search for cosmic intelligence, forcing a rethink of what is possible and how we search for neighbors in the universe. The very definition of anomaly would need to be rewritten. For now, the mystery remains. The filament is a question mark threaded through the dark, a symbol of how much we still have to learn. What other secrets are hiding in plain sight, just out of reach, behind the bright shield of our own galaxy?